<coughs> okay, I'll pick up where I left off. I'm going to open uh, Home Designer Pro 2017. Now let's do a synopsis on what I did in the in the other video that didn't work. <laughs> so it a little bit should be a little more useful to you than just a verbal description of what I did. And I'm going to do a little bit more that I didn't do the first time. <clears throat> well, where's tr there it is. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why my laptop's so much slower than my desktop, but uh, it's got a better video card and a fast processor. But anyway. <laughs> Let's see, let's open plan, and we'll go to uh, desktop, home talk. There's your plan that I worked on before. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll quickly run over what I did before. Now, the creating the roof planes was pretty straightforward. I just did that manually just because that's the way I like to do it sometimes. Okay, I'm going to close that. I don't need that. I'm going to turn off the grid. And we don't need this huge terrain plan. I'm going to resize it down so it just surrounds the house. Okay, the first thing I did was in an elevation camera after I drew the roof planes. Oh, I need, I need to turn uh, angle snaps back on. There we go. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you how I curved this wall here. You can see there's a bunch of breaks in it. And uh, I can't just curve this, so I put several breaks in there to make it look like a curve. And, uh, okay, I'm going to use the break. So I've got to select it. I'm going to hit the break tool. Put a break about there. I don't think it worked. Sometimes you, in an elevation camera, you know, the, you have to persist. I'm, it's still not breaking. <laughs> that's annoying. But nevertheless, that's kind of the way it is. You just persist until you get a break. And you can see these diamond-shaped things are breaks. Try it one more time. Try it over here. Watch it's not working. But you can see here that it did work before and I put this 40, 90 degree turn and then so forth. Anyway, that's how I did that and I just reshaped this wall in another shape. Now, what I'm going to show you today is, uh, let's see, where is the, yeah, the roof planes are up here, so I need to, uh, yeah, I'm going to click on this main roof plane here, and I'm going to pull it back to the other side of the wall. This is what I didn't do before. You can see in the image, it's, I didn't do this part. <clears throat> Just pull these back to the other side of the wall. I'm going to have to zoom in to get this controlled right. Yeah. Pull that back. So this way the wall can come up. <coughs> now, I'm going to go into another elevation camera. This I'll use a back clip just to keep it simple. And we'll just look at this one wall here. <clears throat> There's the wall polyline. Let's see. Get the tab key. It's not selecting. Well, that's kind of annoying. I can't select the wall polyline. 
I think I got it now. <clears throat> Let me try the other side. It has to be perpendicular to the wall. Yeah, okay. Now I can see this. This one's working a little bit better. So I'm going to put a break right here. Yeah, see, there's a diamond-shaped break. I want another one <clears throat> right on the center. Okay, that didn't work. So let's click on the break tool. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this just takes patience. It's kind of an advanced. Now you can see that it's snapping around. Now I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to turn the uh, angle snaps off so I can better control that wall polyline. See with angle snaps on, it's going to snap around. I'm going to pull this end down. Okay, I'm going to get another viewpoint of that going from the other side. <coughs> okay, I'm going to turn the angle snaps on so I can get a perpendicular camera. And I'll turn angle snaps off. Okay, now I can see this wall a little bit better. There's the wall polyline. I'm going to hit the control key just to give me a little more control. <clears throat> I'm going to raise this up. If you know the exact distance you want on the reveal, you can do that. Now this one I need to put another break in there, I think. Yeah. I, I, that's not exactly perfect, but this is a, a free tutorial, so, you know, I'm okay with it. Now we'll do the other one over here. See, so I have to turn angle snaps back on to get a perpendicular camera. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to turn angle snaps off. Okay, that's working a little bit better. We'll put a break here in the center. <clears throat> And software is just complaining about me uh, altering an automatically generated wall, and it's just programmed to say that. Stick that up. Okay. I need to press the control key because it's snapping around. That's a little bit better. Snap back. Well, that's being uh, stubborn. So I'm going to put a break over here. No break appeared. Still not, it's still not working. What can I tell you? Just, you have to persist. Be patient and persist until you get, okay, I'm going to try it over here. Once I get the break, <clears throat> I can move that break around line break. Wow, it's being really stubborn. Okay. Grab that. Control key. Drag. Wow, it's being really stubborn. But such is uh, the way of wall polylines. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to try a different viewpoint. Try to from the other way. Well, okay, I had forgot to turn angle snaps on, so I didn't get a perpendicular camera. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I got a break there. 
See, if one side doesn't work, you just try the other side. So I'm looking at it with the opposite elevation camera, and this seems to be working better. And why? I don't know. I'm not a programmer, so I can't explain that to you. <clears throat> so we're going to reshape this wall. So it's, I'm going to go back to the other, other side over here. Because <clears throat> then I've got the, see, I've got the roof planes here as reference. I'll move this break over to here. Press the control key. And here we just want to, whoops, you zoom in. Okay, that stayed. Press the control key. Okay, <clears throat> your break right here. I need two more breaks. I want a perpendicular here. Move that over. Put it matches the uh, yeah matches the sh uh, shed roof. I know. This isn't exactly very exact, but like I say, I'm doing it for free. And this, if you're willing and patient enough, you can get the same effect yourself. Okay, that's good enough for a free tutorial. Now let's look at this. I'm going to say, <clears throat> okay, I don't care about that. See, now you've got those rake walls on the end sticking up, like, as in your picture. It's not perfect, but I didn't take the time to make it perfect. Here's a little shed roof over the porch. Uh, for some reason, the uh, porch concrete's covered up. Let me lower the uh, terrain plan a little bit. Well, I'm still not seeing concrete here. Let me, uh, and it's there. Undo, put the terrain plane back. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to lower the terrain plane a little bit more. Uh, 50. I want to be able to see the concrete of the port. There we go. Right. That was adjusted enough for the... So that's basically it. See how I did the, these ends here? And I did this all using these uh, line breaks and, and reshaping it and so forth. Anyway, hope this helps you out. Thanks, thanks for watching.